One, two, three, four, five, six. Approximately five children die every day because of child abuse, according to do something.org. Today I'm going to talk to you about a news article about a boy who was hung by his feet to die at the age of three. And some other cases that go with abuse of children. I'm going to also explain to you the difference between discipline and abuse, along with the long and short term effects of what abuse can do. There is a fine line between child abuse and discipline, and abuse is always wrong, no matter what or why. According to Fox21news.com, a Pennsylvania couple went car shopping, bought pizza, and took a nap as this woman's unresponsive three-year-old lay dying after weeks of escalating torture. This is three-year-old Scott, who was hung by his feet and left to die by his mom. The three-year-old was tortured for weeks before being hung upside down and left to die. This is one of the many cases that happens every day. There are some other cases of abuse. According to TrueCrimeReport.com, Sydney White, child while she shook her baby who later died. A man named Angel who used a maintenance gig in order to do gross things to children. And then a lady named Lorinda Bailey who admits to abusing kids who don't talk and they just use grunting as a way of communicating. This is an example of infant abuse, sexual abuse, and child abuse. There are many different types of abuse that can happen, according to ASCA.org. There's emotional abuse, neglect, physical abuse, family violence, sexual abuse, and organized sexual abuse. Emotional abuse is, for example, telling a kid, you're stupid, you're an idiot. They'll never amount to anything in education. That soon makes them believe they won't amount to anything in education and they'll give up. Neglect is leaving your child alone for them to find food on their own, for them to take care of themselves, and usually they're at a young age to where they can't do that. Physical abuse is when they physically slap them or hit them repeatedly to the point where they would leave physical harm on their child. Family violence, that is when there is maybe a mother-father abuse relationship and the children are forced to be involved in that. Sexual abuse is pretty self-explanatory. And then the organized sex abuse is when somebody sets out and plans how to do that. The difference of discipline and abuse is that discipline is spanking on the rear end or slapping somebody on the hand and saying no, sitting your kid in time out, or grounding them from something such as a favorite toy, the TV, a phone. Whereas abuse is being constantly beaten and leaving bruises and marks upon your child, neglecting them and throwing things at them or throwing them, which is not okay. There are long and short term effects to child abuse. According to childwelfare.gov, the effects on children is intellectual, physical, social, and psychological. The development of children can be devastating. Intellectual effects has to do with the fact that it's a lot like social. They believe that they can't be loved, they can't be taken seriously, they don't they don't believe that they'll be able to fit in with anybody because of their history. Physical effects is maybe getting beaten to the point where they can't see out of their eyes or their face has been like mismatched. They have bruises, they have permanent markings. It can be internal to the point where you crack their ribs and puncture a lung. And then there are psychological effects. This makes them, it could make them believe 
that's okay. That's the way to live. I was abused as a child. I can abuse my children. And it goes down through generations. Now, I've talked to you about child abuse. I've explained the different cases, such as three-year-old Scott, along with the sexual abuse and the shaking of the baby and beating kids with grunting. I've explained the differences in abuse and discipline. I've also explained to you the effects that it can have on children. You can walk out of here today and let this go in one ear and out the other. But just so you know, that child abuse can be stopped and it needs to be stopped. And it starts with us. It starts with us standing up for not, for not being for child abuse, taking a stand against it. It can be calling in when you see something happening, when you see something not being right. There's many things that we can do. Child abuse needs to be stopped. Thank you for listening. One, two, three, four, five, six.